I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of selbutiamine. Now, this is an update to a video I made on selbutiamine several years ago. You'll learn why we use selbutiamine as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is, the recommended dosage for selbutiamine and how often to use it, the potential side effects of selbutiamine, and who should avoid using it as a nootropic supplement, and where to buy selbutiamine. So, why should you listen to the rest of this updated selbutiamine review? Well, because selbutiamine is just one of several thiamine derivatives. You will learn in this video why I have been using selbutiamine twice a day and every day for well over a decade. And I'll share with you why it's one of my favorite nootropic supplements. Sounds good? Now, before we get started, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and hit the share button so others can learn about selbutiamine and how it may help them and their brain health goals. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about selbutiamine. Let's get started. Selbutiamine is a synthetic derivative of vitamin B1, or thiamine. Thiamine was the first B vitamin to be discovered by researchers. That's why they called it B1. Selbutiamine is simply two vitamin B1 molecules joined together. This chemical bond helps thiamine more easily cross the blood-brain barrier. Japanese scientists first synthesized selbutiamine in an attempt to quell a health crisis within the Japanese population. After World War II, the Japanese diet largely consi consisted of rice, and this left them deficient in several key nutrients, including thiamine. Insufficient thiamine led to central nervous system disorder called beriberi, but supplementing with thiamine alone didn't help because of its poor bioavailability, and a lot of thiamine was needed to cure beriberi symptoms. Selbutamine is far more bioavailable than standard thiamine. It's fat-soluble, because thiamine is water-soluble, which helps it more easily cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, the discovery of selbutamine cured the Japanese population of a life-threatening disease, and it has since been tested and used throughout the world with much success. Now, throughout this video, I'll refer to, refer to selbutamine interchangeably with thiamine. Selbutamine is the stronger of the two, so its effects are amplified compared to standard thiamine. Thiamine is a coenzyme used by your body to metabolize food for energy and to maintain proper heart, nerve, and brain function. Thiamine also helps digest and extract energy from food. It turns nutrients into adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. ATP is your main energy supply and produced in your cell's mitochondria. And thiamine helps convert carbohydrates into glucose, the energy your body uses for your brain and nervous system. Now, one more thing about this miracle B vitamin. Thiamine contributes to the development of myelin sheaths, which wrap around axons to protect them from damage. Your body does not produce thiamine on its own, so you must get it from food, including beef, brewer's yeast, legumes like beans and lentils, milk, nuts, oats, oranges, pork, rice, seeds, wheat, whole grain, cereals, and yeast. But thiamine is poor bioavailability. By synthesizing thiamine and producing selbutamine, you end up with a fat-soluble compound that is easily digested and readily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Selbutamine is a synthetic version of thiamine or vitamin B1. It's two B1 molecules chemically bound together. Thiamine is water-soluble and does not easily cross the blood-brain barrier. Selbutamine is a fat-soluble compound that easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Selbutamine functions in your body just like thiamine, but because it's more bioavailable, it's more effective than thiamine. Selbutamine boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, selbutamine is a fat-soluble molecule that crosses the blood-brain barrier more readily than thiamine. 
Once in your brain, it increases levels of thiamine pyrophosphate, or TPP. Thiamine pyrophosphate is directly involved in the citric acid cycle in your brain. This cycle breaks fatty acids, amino acids, and monosaccharides into smaller molecules that produce adenosine triphosphate energy within your mitochondria and provides the building blocks that all the molecules need to produce brain cells. A deficiency of TPP can eventually show up as Wernicke encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. In our society, this syndrome is typically caused by chronic alcoholism, but it can also occur after bariatric surgery for obesity, Crohn's disease, or anorexia, and if you're on kidney dialysis. Symptoms of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome include confusion, inability to form memories, loss of memories and muscle coordination, confabulation, or making up stories, and vision changes, and can ultimately and very rapidly lead to coma and death. Less severe cases of thiamine deficiency include fatigue, weight loss, irritability, and confusion. And the second way selbutamine works in your brain is it also contributes to the production of the enzyme PDH, which is essential in making the neurotransmitter cetacholine, and for the synthesis of myelin, which forms a sheath around axons attached to neurons, ensuring these neurons can conduct signals. The citric acid cycle and enzyme alpha KGDH play a role in maintaining optimal levels of neurotransmitters glutamate and GABA. When thiamine levels decrease, the activity of these enzymes are reduced. Salbutamine is directly involved in the citric acid cycle that produces adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, energy within your mitochondria. Selbutamine also plays a role in maintaining optimal levels of the neurotransmitters glutamate and GABA. And it contributes to the production of the enzyme PDH, which is essential in making the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Selbutamine will boost cognition, memory, and decision-making. And it has very effective anxiolytic or anti-anxiety qualities and antidepressant. Selbutamine is a fat-soluble form of thiamine which crosses the blood-brain barrier. It has been shown to improve glutamine, choline, and dopamine neurological transmissions. It may also increase the density of D1 dopamine receptors. Nootropics users who use selbutamine report that selbutamine as a study aid. On its own, selbutamine seems to increase attention span for many neurohackers. And when combined with caffeine or any one of the racetams, many report being able to work effortlessly for hours on end. Study and work seems less stressful. Boost motivation. Selbutamine boosts motivation and many report it gives them the drive they need for study or work. Increased focus. Selbutamine helps provide laser light focus at work and school. Some report even the most tedious of tasks while staying in a very good mood. Sociability. Many users report being able to articulate thoughts and improved speaking ability. Language and your vocabulary seem to flow effortlessly. Thoughts and ideas come with less effort. Improved mood. Personally, I found cell beauty may be, to be more effective than any prescription antidepressant I've ever tried and without the side effects. You should be able to experience the effects of cell beauty means soon after you take it. A study at the University of Wales, Swansea in the UK worked with 120 young adult females. Study participants took either a placebo or 50 milligrams of thiamine for two months. Mood, memory, and reaction times were monitored before and after taking the tablets. The results indicate that after two months of thiamine supplementation, the young females were more clear-headed, they felt more composed and energetic, reaction times improved, and improved mood. If you deal with chronic fatigue, selbutamine may be a better option than another cup of coffee or a stimulant. Researchers at Hospital Saint Antoine in Paris studied 326 patients. 
all suffering from chronic fatigue. The patients were given 400 milligrams or 600 milligrams of silbutamine daily, or a placebo in this double-blind parallel group study. Patients were tested on the 7th and 28th days of the trial. Those that used 600 milligrams of silbutamine had less fatigue. Poor memory is associated with low levels of choline activity in the brain. Choline is a precursor to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Acetylcholine transmission between neurons helps in memory formation. Scientists decided to find out if salbutamine could help boost choline uptake. They gave a group of mice salbutamine for 10 days, and then they tested their memory. The findings suggested salbutamine improved memory formation, and it was due to the increase in choline activity in the brain. Another study in France involved giving salbutamine or a saline solution to rats for nine weeks. The results of this study concluded that salbutamine provided better working in episodic memory. Many neurohackers use salbutamine for a boost in physical energy, and it's created some controversy in professional sports. The Moscow Anti-Doping Center analyzed 16,000 blood samples in a Russian lab in 2009, and they were looking for anabolic steroids in athletes. They found that 100 samples contained salbutamine. These samples were collected in competition, indicating that salbutamine was intentionally administered for its ergogenic and mild stimulating properties. One small study was conducted with 20 patients suffering from phytogenic erectile dysfunction. This type of erectile dysfunction is defined as the inability to achieve or maintain an erection because of psychologic factors. The men were given a prescription form of salbutamine called Enerion for 30 days. 16 of the men showed significant improvement based on the International Index of Erectile Function. Three of six men with ulterior disorders in the penis showed that salbutamine corrected the problem. The study concluded that erectile dysfunction can be effectively treated with salbutamine. The recommended salbutamine dosage is 400 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams per day. Higher doses should be split with, into two doses, once in the morning and another in early afternoon. Some neurohackers warn about dosing salbutamine too late in the day. Its mild stimulant qualities could interfere with sleep. If you're just starting out with salbutamine, I suggest starting with a low dose and see how your body reacts. Tolerance may be a problem with some with salbutamine. So when taking it for, a prolonged, for extended periods, you may find it beneficial to cycle it. Uh, cycle on and off this supplement. For example, take salbutamine for five days and then take two-day holiday off your, before your next salbutamine dose. Salbutamine powder tastes nasty, so it's better to take it in capsule form. You can save on the cost of salbutamine by baking your own capsules. And salbutamine is fat soluble, so take it with a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil for better absorption. Salbutamine is non-toxic, so is considered well-tolerated and safe. Side effects are rare, but can, can include skin rashes and, and eczema-like outbreaks at higher doses. Salbutamine can also create mood swings, particularly if you're bipolar or are taking bipolar medication. And if you take salbutamine late in the day, you may find it interferes with sleep. Some find it has mild stimulant effects. Now, there are some reports that salbutamine can be addictive. And if you have addiction-like tendencies, you may want to be cautious about using this supplement. I can't see how it can be addictive, but it does affect dopamine levels in the brain, so possibly. It's not been a problem for me. Salbutamine is sold in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Tablets and capsules are usually 750 milligrams each. It's sold as a prescription medication in some countries under the brand names Arcalion, Anarion, Bisuthiamin, and Uvitan. 
In December 2019, the FDA in the U.S. added solbutamine to its dietary supplement ingredient advisory list. The FDA states that does not necessarily indicate that the FDA has determined that the ingredient is unsafe. It means the FDA is taking steps to further evaluate the ingredient. This means that you can no longer buy selbutamine from vendors like Amazon or bulk supplements. And just a side note here, this video review contains affiliate links and I will be compensated if you make a purchase, purchase after clicking on any one of these links. I've been getting my selbutamine directly from Doublewood Supplements. The company is owned by Evan Wood and his wife and they sell very high quality products. So if you're looking for Cellbutamine, I highly recommend getting it at Doublewood Supplements. 90 capsules, there are 200 milligram capsules. I've got a link to it in their store down below this video. So that's my report on Cellbutamine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to my website, Nootropics Expert, and search for Cellbutamine. Or click on the link in the notes section of this video. Just click the more button right below this video and it'll open the notes section. So, once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. And you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And my four-time award-winning book, the second edition of Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements, is currently out of stock. And I'm searching for a new publisher, so please stay tuned. And thanks for your patience as I work to get Head First stocked again soon in bookstores worldwide. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics, or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below in the notes section of this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.